Hey everybody and welcome back to Hex Token Channel, I'm your host Superman. In this video we're going to look at the top 8 Ethereum Merge Misconceptions. That's right, the top 8 Ethereum Merge Misconceptions. And of course uh, we have uh, the beacon chain here about to dock. And of course we're going to move to a full proof of stake system for Ethereum. That means uh, it's going to be validating the blocks for the Ethereum. It's currently been running since 2020 there uh, in parallel to the proof of work system. And, of course, uh, that's going to replace the proof of work and, of course, reduce energy consumption by about 99.5%. It's going to be absolutely incredible. And we're going to have a full proof of work, a proof, a full proof of stake system for Ethereum. Uh, this is probably going to launch somewhere between the 15th of September and the 19th of September. And uh, it's going to be very exciting to see this play out. You don't have to do anything, of course. Uh, it should run pretty smoothly. We had the Gueli uh, testnet uh, move to proof of stake and it looked pretty good. There's a few minor issues, but uh, obviously the team will sort that out. Uh, so boding pretty well. Let's get into it. The top eight Ethereum merge misconceptions. Let's go. And of course, uh, the first one is misconception number one. Uh, running a node requires staking a 32 Ethereum. This is the first misconception. Running a node requires staking 32 ETH uh, uh, as well. That's a lot of ETH, of course. This is false. And of course, uh, what's going to happen is anyone is free to sync their own self-verified copy of Ethereum i.e. run a node, and that's pretty much it. So uh, it's going to be easy to do. Uh, misconception, and of course, uh, the, no ETH is required, not before the merge, not after the merge, not ever. So that's very important to know. Uh, so running a node requires 30 ETH. This is false. All right, let's get into uh, misconception number two. Uh, the merge will reduce gas fees. Now, this is a big misconception out there. The merge will reduce, reduce gas fees. Uh, this is also false. And of course, uh, we can see that the merge is a change of consensus mechanism, not an expansion of network capacity. So it's very important. So it's not making the pipe bigger. Uh, it is pretty much a, a different type of consensus, uh, a proof of stake one versus proof of work, and will not result in lower gas fees on its own. So remember that. Uh, that's something for later on uh, when Ethereum moves to the surge phase uh, of their uh, upgrade process. So uh, very important, the merge will not reduce gas fees. Number three, let's get into the misconception number three. The transactions will be noticeably faster after the merge. So uh, not only will they be not be cheaper, but in terms of faster after the merge, they won't be that either. So uh, that's the other thing. Uh, they will not be noticeably. So that is also false. And of course, we can see that though some slight changes exist, transaction speed will mostly, and that's the key with them, mostly remain the same on layer one. Uh, so obviously we have to wait till later on when we have roll-ups and uh, um, sharding come into play. And that's when we can start to expect cheaper and faster transactions with a higher trans uh, a TPS or transaction per second speed. Obviously uh, Vitalik's looking at the end goal of moving to a couple thousand TPS and up to eventually 100,000. At the moment it's very, very low at the moment. Somewhere between 8 and 12 uh, is or kind of where we're at this stage. Let's get into a misconception. Number four, you can withdraw state ETH once the merge occurs. So once the merge occurs, you can withdraw state ETH. Uh, this is also false. All right, so uh, staking withdrawals are not yet enabled with the merge. The following Shanghai upgrade will enable staking withdrawals. So that's coming up there. The following Shanghai upgrade will enable staking withdrawals. Let's look at the next misconception. And number five, Validators will not receive any liquid ETH rewards till the Shanghai upgrade when withdrawals are enabled. All right, so validators will not receive any liquid ETH rewards till the Shanghai upgrade withdrawals are enabled. That is also false. So let's have a look at why. The fees, fee tips, and MEV will be credited to a mainnet account controlled by the validator available immediately. So that's very positive from that point of view. Let's look at misconception number six. And of course, uh, when withdrawals are enabled, stakers will all exit at once. Now, obviously, things, people think there's going to be a bit of a run, uh, possibly a big sell down, that sort of thing. When withdrawals are enabled, stakers will all exit at once. This is also false. All right. So that's has definitely been going around this misconception. And of course, uh, let's look at the reason. Validated exits are rate limited for security reasons. So that's the reason there. Uh, so don't expect that stakers to all exit at once there. Let's have a look at the next misconception, number seven. Staking APR or annual percentage return is expected to triple after the merge. So uh, there we are. That is also false. And of course, more up-to-date estimations predict closer to a 50% in APR or annual percentage return 
post-merge, not a 200% increase. So uh, give you a context of there. Uh, certainly going to be good, uh, but don't get carried away. And let's look at misconception number eight. And this is the final one. The merge will result in downtime of the chain. The merge will result in downtime of the chain. This is also false. And of course, the merge upgrade is designed to transition to proof of stake with zero downtime. Now, there may be some minor issues and th here and there, uh, but this is basically the outcome. And of course, the Kuruli testnet went perfectly fine, as well as the other testnets that were upgraded to proof of stake. So looking very exciting. Somewhere between the 15th and 19th September before uh, the ETH 2.0 or ETH merge, as we say, uh, these days is to take place. So I hope you enjoyed that. The top eight misconceptions about the ETH merge. And I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, share, hit the bell for more good insights and information. I look forward to seeing you soon. I'll take care. Leave any comments in the chat and I'll respond to those after the video. Cheers.